everybody and happy Sabbath. I hope that you are having a beautiful day and that you are staying cool because it is a bit warm out today. I'm going to share with you something very special to me. It is my memory box. And my memory box contains things that I have collected over the years that have special memory to me. And today I'm going to show a few of them to you. And I just, I love opening this memory box every once in a while because <sighs> good times. So, my first item that I'm going to show to you is this fan. My good friend, Heather, got married and she had an outdoor wedding and so she gave everybody fans. And, oh, that feels very nice indeed. Oh, goodness me. So in college, my friends and I used to say the silliest things. And so my friend bought me this book of profound statements. And we wrote everything that we said that was silly in it. And we um, just have great memories of what we said and when. <laughs> oh, I love this. These are little notes that my students used to write to me, and I just love them because they are so cute. Ah, good times. Oh, goodness me. So, this watch doesn't work anymore, but my best friend from college got me one, and she also got herself one, so we were twins. Ah, oh, good times. Mm, I love it. Oh, Hang on just a second. And these are to really enhance my personality. Hmm. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, my friend bought that for me. Um, oh. I... I've had these beads since I was probably nine years old, and I couldn't give up just throwing them away because they were just so precious to me. So I keep that in my memory box. Aww. And Aubrey, when she was super, super young, like, I don't know, maybe four or five, made me this cute little bracelet. And then she also made me a necklace to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't part with it because it was so adorable. And let's see. Oh, yeah. And then there's this. This is a case that I've had since I was probably nine years old. And I keep all of my coins in here. So I keep coins that I've uh, gotten in Mexico and in France and in Italy and also coins that I found on the sidewalk and other really neat coins that people have given to me. So these are just some of the things that I keep in my box because they have really good memories and they make my smile. And I know that when we go to heaven I can't take this box with me but I treasure it with me on earth. And I want to share a Bible verse with you today. And it comes from Matthew 6, verses 19 through 21. Do not lay up yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in to steal. But lay for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. <laughs> so I encourage you, even though you might have cool things here on earth, I strongly encourage you to lay your treasures up in heaven, which means um, spend quality time with God and in prayer. Um, spend time doing good things for other people helping others in need, like the homeless or the sick, and just take good care of those whom you love, because that is the true treasure that God 
wishes for you to have. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I just hope and pray that instead of all the really cool treasures and things that you have here on earth, you can treasure those. But just remember that this is not your eternal home. So don't spend so much time accumulating things here on earth that can be lost or broken or destroyed or taken away. But treasure the things that God would have you to treasure, like a pure heart and kind words and kind deeds. And your treasure in heaven will far succeed anything here on earth that you have. I hope and pray that you have a blessed Sabbath and that you do stay cool. Thank you.